what is personalized treatment in for AML maintenance? So I think uh, personalized AML treatment is should be thought of as a whole, not just for the maintenance. But um, it would be nice to come up with um, a um, maintenance that would be personalized. And I think to some extent we may be lacking at this point because I don't know that we have um, algorithms that allow us to date to say, okay, um, we have had this patient enter remission. Now we're going to be doing maintenance based on the targeted treatments that um, target that particular minimal residual disease that this patient has. This would be a phenomenal way to treat AML, maybe in the 22nd century or maybe at the end of this century, but we're not there yet. But I think what we could do is perhaps what was done in certain clinical trials, like take, for example, the um, maintenance trials that were done um, after uh, attaining um, induction, because most AML docs know that even if you attain remission in some patients who are treated, uh, either be it with um, uh, one seven plus three or even with um, uh, various types of induction treatment, there will be a risk of relapse. So some physicians decided to do hypomethylating agents after uh, attaining CR, and there was some uh, suggestions that perhaps you delayed the risk of relapse. And there's, there's trials that are published supporting that approach. Uh, I've already talked about mydostorin and its effects. And then there's also the data with oral azacitidine uh, that talked about, that took patients who had intermediate and adverse risk uh, AML, right? And after they entered complete remission or complete remission incomplete, they were then randomized to either receiving uh, oral azacitidine or not. And then it was shown that people who were received the oral azacitidine did better um, in terms of their um, uh, relapse rate. So less relapse and there was improved survival. So this would be one reasonable way to consider personalized uh, um, maintenance for AML. But I think, uh, you know, perhaps the future holds um, more in terms of true personalization for AML treatment. And let's hope that's the case. 